Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Gennady Golovkin says Canelo Alvarez ran when they fought last September. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the game. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, Gennady Golovkin had no guys did an interview with Yahoo Sports and he talked about his upcoming fight. We didn't know if we were going to get this fight. Canelo is currently suspended till about mid-August. He clearly failed two drug tests earlier the year. He pleads his innocence or unwillingness to participate in actually taking clenbuterol, the drug he was busted for, willingly or willfully. And it remains to be seen. Either way, he had to pull out of the first fight that was scheduled for single to mile weekend and it fell apart Golovkin went on to fight Vanas Matarosin and then they had some issues with the percentage splits and Golovkin didn't feel he was being treated fair and, and getting his just due as a champion they got over that hurdle now they're fighting this September Golovkin spoke with Yahoo Sports and he says and I quote when he went into the ring he stepped back and only ran running he only ran he's not like a warrior he's not like a Mexican fighter not like a true champion. Now, I want to give my thoughts to this statement. Link in the description in case you want to hear the whole interview with Yahoo Sports. I'm not a fan of this whole Mexican style thing because I've studied boxing and watched it my whole life. And I don't think there is a such thing as a Mexican style. Like, I hear the definition that Abel and Golovkin have given as to what they feel is Mexican style. But I don't think that is because... Mikey Garcia is Mexican-American. You have Juan Manuel Marquez. You have Salvador Sanchez. You got Julio Cesar Chavez, junior and senior, right? They Different guys have different styles. And it doesn't matter if they're from Mexico. Some guys are just like Orlando Salido, super rugged, was able to beat Vasil Lomachenko. But Marquez don't fight like that. He actually fought Salido and beat him. You know what I mean? So I don't believe in, in there is a Mexican style or based on your ethnicity there there's an inherent style because i don't think canelo fights how they're claiming mexican style is so i'm not a big fan of that and i'm not a, a fan of oh he ran and this guy was a chicken he was all he did was run listen golovkin is a notable puncher one of the stronger guys in the middleweight division it's not canelo's job to not use the tools that he's been working on since he turned pro when he was 15 to give the other person advantage no matter who they are you got to figure it out. Just like when Canelo tried to break the May Vinci code and beat Floyd Mayweather and he couldn't figure it out, then it's up to Golovkin. Golovkin has been known for cutting off the ring or his ability to do that in previous fights. So you got to step it up and find a way to make that ring real small. And I think Golovkin put a lot of pressure, but it, it sounds foolish when people say this running, he ran stuff. To me, just because he used a defense why would you not use a defense against a big puncher a guy who's a good fighter a guy who has an established jab a guy with 350 amateur fights you got to do what you got to do to win you know what i mean and if that incorporates some movement um lateral movement if it fighting off the ropes it's, it's not canelo or any opponent daniel jacobs not their job to just sit in front and trade until one of you guys gets knocked the fuck out that's just it doesn't make sense so to me, it's all hype when people say, oh, this guy ran. Oh, well, deal with it. How are you going to figure it out? Because this is this is the thing I notice. People want to give guys who implore a defense and, and use that to their advantage or use their legs to get into position or to create exits and escapes and stuff. They want to use that as a almost a negative, right? But at the same time, look at the, look at the adverse side. Nobody's telling the puncher, don't use your power. Don't hit me at 100%. Don't hit me at 80%. Hit me at 65%. Scale back your power. You know, you got a good chin. Even if even if you don't have to go down, go down because I hit you with a flush shot. It doesn't work like that. If you're in there with a durable puncher and they just keep coming and keep coming, that's what that person has to deal with. So adversely, if you're in there with Canelo or Mayweather and then for spots, they want to use their legs, 
or they want to fight off the ropes and use their defense, you got to deal with it. But frankly, me personally, I'm sick of hearing this running shit. It's not up to Canelo or whoever Golovkin faces to make it easy for you to. That's It's like kind of a lazy mindset almost. It's like, oh, you, you just want someone to sit in front of you and trade like Angulo or somebody would. But Angulo wouldn't last with the Golovkin. Even Vonis Matarosin, I don't know why he chose to fight like he did. He, he gave Golovkin... He, I think he won the first round. I was at the fight. He won the first round, and it looked like he, he buckled Golovkin a little bit. But Golovkin was like, oh, hell no, nah, after that. And then he came out like a like an angry bull that's been tased. And in the second round, he annihilated um, Vonis Matarosin. So that could be a lot of fighters if they don't use their wits and brains. So I don't believe in this whole running thing. Let me know how excited you guys are for September. It should be a good fight. We need closure as fans to see who the true winner is since the first one technically was a draw, according to the judges. Let me know who you're picking to win and what your thoughts are on this whole running scenario. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.